Right up. that uh, I've been able to come up with that we'll see. I mean, I'm a researcher, not a prophet or a psychic, so uh, we'll just have to see if it pans out. But it looks like these are the latest that these events can occur. But first, I'm going to run some prophecy news by you, and we're going to give you some headlines that came from uh, Prophecy Update news headlines, and it says the third temple alert police authorized Passover sacrifice next to the temple mount. That's from Israel today. Israel braces for Palestinian violence as 70 year anniversary approaches. That's from prophecy newswatch.com. It's going to get dicey. IDF Intel chief warns of Palestinian explosion ahead of Israeli independence day. That's from the media line.org. Palestinians to protest Friday after Jews sacrificed lambs near the Temple Mount. They did a practice, uh, a reenactment, actually. IDF imposes general closure on West Bank and Gaza for Passover. That's from the JerusalemPost.com. Israel deploys 100 sharpshooters on the Gaza border for Palestinian protests, Israeli Army Chief says. That's from Reuters. Com. Israel on high alert on Gaza border after string of incursions. That's from the Jerusalem Post.com. Israeli tanks target Hamas observation posts in the Gaza Strip over cross border arson. That's from uh, Russia Today.com. Hamas official says Israel will pay a high price for aggression toward Palestinians. That's from the Jerusalem Post.com. Hamas turns to Iran for release of Iraqi rocket fuel expert. That is from the Jerusalem Post. Hamas says the Palestinians will not give up one inch of Palestine. That is from the timesofisrael.com. Well, I'm afraid it's not going to be in their hands. Hamas and Iran, closest they've been since the Syrian war, senior official says. That's from the JerusalemPost.com. World War III, Iran vows to obliterate Israel in 25 years as Middle East tensions escalate. That's from the express.co. Israeli airstrikes target Hezbollah near the Syria-Lebanon border. That's from Breitbart.com. U.S. pledges record $705 million in missile defense aid to Israel. That's from the Jerusalem Post. Dot com go USA Israel thanks the US for record for record breaking missile defense aid that's from breitbart.com Israel removes bureaucracy to speed up opening of US embassy in Jerusalem that's also from breitbart.com Trump undecided on attending Jerusalem embassy opening white house says that's from breitbart.com U.S. slams U.N. Human Rights Council for five more anti-Israel resolutions. That's from prophecynewswatch.com. 
Congress threatens to cut UN funding for voting against Israel. That's from the almonitor.com. Yeah, they're doing, they're going to do it. Croatia to buy Israeli fighter jets in $500 million deal. That is from Breitbart.com. A uh, report, Assad regime built another nuclear site near the Syrian-Lebanese border. That's from Breitbart.com. War preparations, leaked images allegedly show U.S. military tanks arriving in Jordan. That's from ZeroHedge.com. European powers press for Iran's sanctions to buttress nuclear deal. That's from Reuters.com. Poland agrees $4.75 billion purchase of U.S. Patriot missile systems for unprecedented security. That's from RT.com. China says North Korea's Kim pledged commitment to denuclearization. That is from Reuters.com. North Korea begins testing experimental reactor at nuclear site despite denuclearization talk. That's from FoxNews.com. Russia and China eclipse U.S. in hypersonic missiles, prompting fears. That's from TheHill.com. Preparing for war, China sends massive navy for South China Sea war games after President Xi Jinping vowed to wage bloody battle for world domination. Whoa, isn't that amazing? Uh, that's from the sun.co.uk. Man. And we've got a ton of earthquakes. We're looking at uh, the, 25, the 25th and 26th of March produced six, I mean, uh, excuse me, four quakes above 6.0. See all these sixes now. We've had a ton. There's a ton of fives. And now you're supposed, now we're starting to get a bunch of sixes too. There was, th there was four of them in two days on the earthquakes. And then in volcanic eruptions, it's just ridiculous how many. Uh, we have at least 25 volcanoes at this time that are going off simultaneously on planet Earth. Uh, man, you know. Um, deadly born of virus spreads to humans in Europe. Deaths confirmed. That's from the dailystar.co.uk. Pestilences as antibiotics fail, global consumption of antibiotics skyrockets. Further driving drug resistance. That's from medicalexpress.com. Man. Now it says here, um, Big Brother, China's using AI and facial recognition to find jaywalkers via text message. That's from fastcompany.com. You can't even jaywalk without getting a ticket. New CBS sitcom, Living Biblically, decried as Hollywood mockery of Christians. That's from christiannews.net. Harks wax cold. Planned Parenthood says we need a Disney princess who's had an abortion. That's from Breitbart.com. Blasphemous ice cream chain coming to U.S. That's from, uh, it's called Sweet Jesus. It's from worldnewsdaily.com reporting. Holy Cross theology professor says Jesus was a drag king with queer desires. That's from Breitbart.com. What? Uh, can you see why it's time for Jesus to come? Unbelievable. And now here's some good news. Alice Cooper says his Christian faith saved him from alcoholism. That's Breitbart.com. Alice Cooper. Yeah, a child of God. Thousands coming to Christ through Billy Graham's legacy, even after his death. This is from ChristianHeadlines.com. Wow. Uh, you know, that gives you an idea of some of what's going on out there. And um, it's for our prophecy update. And now we're going to go through our, um, through our timeline. And I'll give you the information that we've got in... Um, as we've made adjustments to the theory as things manifest, it sure does look like um, we've got some timing here that is going to be a real good possibility. 
Now, we're going to go through this. Um, I have written what I call a theory of the final days of the prophetic generation, and I put it on my Facebook wall. And the first part explains Daniel's equation. Now, you have 70 weeks of seven years each, which is a total of 490 prophetic years. 62 weeks or 434 years passed from the decree of Cyrus to the crucifixion, leaving eight weeks of years or 56 years of 360 days each. We got to use the Hebrew calendar in our calculations which is 20,160 days remaining to be fulfilled when the Jewish people once again were in control of Jerusalem. Now, this event occurred in June 1967, resuming the prophetic clock. June 7th, 1967. This was a six-day war. I took the day in the middle. June 7th, 1967, add 20,160 days and that shows us through Daniel's equation that the very end of the prophetic generation is August 17th, 2022. There are not multiple ways to solve this equation. That's it. This one way, that one event, subtract 45 days from the end to find the end of the seven-year tribulation period, which is July 3rd, 2022. Now, the end of the seven-year tribulation period would be July, you know, roundabouts, give or take a few days, okay, would be roundabout July 3rd, 2022. But notice the 45 days we subtract, those from the end of the trib to the end of the generation, 45 days, and those days are for restoration of the earth to where the whole thing's on fire. The whole thing is being restored to where when the new Jerusalem descends, you have a, a paradise once again, a restored and renewed earth. Now we've got the seven year tribulation ending July 3rd, 2022, at the very latest, okay? We subtract 1,260 days from the end of the tribulation period, which is July 3rd, 2022, and we get our midpoint, which is the defiling of the temple on January 20th, 2019. Now, that's not on the 9th of Av, but this is the very latest it can occur. We've had to rule out the ninth of Av for this third temple because the July 27th, uh, I'm sorry, July 21st, ninth of Av this year is too early. There's no temple to defile yet, and there's not going to be by that time. But if you go to the ninth of Av in 2019, that's too late. We don't have that many days left in the generation. So we have to nix the theory of the ninth of all being when the temple is defiled. If we subtract 1260 days, which is three and a half years on the Jewish calendar from the end of the tribulation period, July 3rd, 2022, we find that the abomination of desolation would happen on January 20th, 2019 or roundabout. Okay. The final blood moon of the triad arrives the very next day on, on January 21st, 2019. On the very next day. <laughs> well, so this is, this is extremely important because that blood moon is required right there at the defiling of the temple, which is why we thought it had to be in July, remember? It's not. It, the abomination of desolation would be the final blood moon of the triad. It says the sun will turn to darkness and the moon to blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come. So that starts the day of the Lord, the midpoint. And actually, a little more accurately, the day of the Lord starts when Jesus shows up in the sky. Okay? So, but that's when right after that third blood moon of the triad is when everything kicks into high gear and Jesus is here at that time. 
if you if you subtract 1290 days from the end of the tribulation period which would be July 3rd 2022 um, we find that it brings us to December I didn't put that on my thing but it brings us to December 21st 2018 and that is when the sacrifices and oblations would cease and that is also the beginning of the Jews final 1335 days and at that point there are only 1335 days left in the generation at that point and that would be December 21st then to find out when the saints are evacuated and the children we back up to the nearest feast of trumpets to find uh, that evacuation of the children and the Gentile children of God and so that takes us to September 10th or 11th, 2018. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's amazing, isn't it? Then you back up further to the center blood moon of the triad, which comes July 27th, 2018, uh, when we thought before that the temple would be defiled. Not anymore. But there is that is it significant because it looks like it has to be the opening of the sixth seal, which brings a great earthquake, which might end up being global. War in heaven takes place, and then Satan and his one-third are cast down. Now, Satan's one-third would be six legions, and a legion is between three and 5,000. So we're looking at anywhere from 18,000 to 30,000 evil angels being cast down to the earth. And that's going to be really, really messed up, okay? They're going to fall like a meteor shower down onto the earth. It's wreakage. Jesus Christ would arrive after Satan is cast down and before the evacuation. We cannot know the day or hour of his return. But we do have a window of time we can identify to expect this magnificent series of events. Um, and then I said, will it happen this way? I have no idea. I don't know. I I'm a researcher, not a psychic, you know. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out and presenting you with scriptural possibilities. But I hope so, and I think so. I think so. This is the very latest these events can occur, these dates that I have just given you. I told you before that we had five months to play with in the equation, but now with these new adjustments, there's not a single day uh, between the end of these events and the end of the generation. It takes us all the way to August 17th, 2022, without even one single day to spare. Now, every single day is accounted for. The new, that means the New Jerusalem descends August 17th, 2022, when Daniel says the very end of the generation is. And right on the very day that Daniel's equation indicates the final generation is concluded. Uh, so um, we might just have it down now, and it goes all the way to the end with no time to spare. That, and that's what I'm saying. This is the very latest that these events can take place. It can't, you know, we, it, there is no, um, no math that indicates a possibility for the evacuation to be next year in September in 2019. That's too late. There's not enough days left in uh, the generation, according to Daniel's equation, for it to be next year. It has to be this year if my theory is correct. And I say, if, I mean, you know, I'm a sinner just like everybody else. I'm just trying to figure it out. I, I don't know. I, I don't have any, you know, I don't have a magic wand or a crystal ball. Uh, I'm a researcher. So I'm trying to figure it out. And I do think that we have it. But time will tell. We are going to know ahead of time because if the sixth seal is that blood moon, July 27th, you're going to see the effects of that sixth seal, uh, you're not going to have to wonder. And when, if you see a global quake 
And if you see Satan and his one third cast down like a meteor shower, uh, you know, we're going in September. Okay. You won't have to wait and wonder. You'll, you can automatically know, yeah, we're going. If you see those six seal effects that from uh, the six seal that comes at the blood moon, July 27th, this summer. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Do you guys have any questions about the timeline? Let me come over here and, um, and see. Um, now, let's see. Okay, Lindsay says, when does heaven and earth pass away? Well, that would be um, after after the millennium, okay? After the millennium. At the end of the 1,000 years, you have the great white throne judgment, and then heaven and earth pass away. Um, oh, Joyce said that part I never understood, the destroy and then the renew. Um. Let's see. Um, okay, I don't see any others on Facebook. Let me see on YouTube if we have um, any more any questions here. And Shirley says, glad Jesus knows our names. Me too. Me too. <coughs> okay, let's see. Oh, I'm way I'm way I'm way backwards here. Um Troy says Jesus is your shelter. Oh, Karen is saying that she says uh tornado warning just went off on her phone. Tornado headed that way, expected to be over her at 8.50, and I live in a mobile home. Well, you better go. I hope you are uh, have gone to a shelter, sister. She says we don't have a shelter. Sirens are going off. I'm going outside. That's what we all do. When the sirens go off, we all go outside and look around. <laughs> it's probably not a good idea, but what can we say? Uh, Vonda wants to know, why are the tear children going to heaven? Because when children... Um, when, when they're children, you can't tell the difference between the two. Okay. Um, uh, wheat and tares look the same when they're children. Plus you, um, plus you have during the millennium, um, there are wheat and tares both there and there wouldn't be any tares unless some of the children were tares that are taken because then at the end of the millennium, you have another sifting. And Satan is released. He draws all those who are not the children of God that are tares to himself. They surround the holy city to come against it, kind of like the Muslims are trying to come against Israel now. And fire comes down out of heaven and devours them all. Um, but that's all of the children are going. The, the children of the tares... And the wheat, all of the children go. Jesus comes like a thief in the night. See, to, to us, he's not a thief. Our houses are not broken up because when he comes, he takes all of the Gentiles who are born with the temple inside them. It says the spirit is truly ready that is within us, but our flesh is weak. Okay, so uh, the spirit is ready but the flesh is weak. So we are all ready to go. And then the blindness will be, it says bl Israel is blinded in part until the fullness of the Gentiles come in. So as the, the, all of the Gentiles born with the temple in them, uh, whether they know Jesus yet or not, and all of the children are going in the evacuation. That's a whole lot of people being evacuated. The only ones who are left here after the evacuation are the wicked, the tares, and the Jews. And that's who's going to be left here after the evacuation. The wicked, the tares, and the Jews. 
all of the Gentiles are gone who are who are born with the temple inside and all of the children are gone. Oh, wow. We're out of time. I love you guys. God bless you. Thanks for studying with me tonight. Come back tomorrow night. We have one more Bible study this week on Thursday, tomorrow night at our regular time, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time. God bless you. Love you.